the company started uh, about 33 years ago with uh, a simple vision of Tanzanian engineers who are fairly nationalistic, wanting to prove to themselves and to Tanzania that we can offer consulting services of good quality to the nation. So it was a, a significant nationalistic feeling. So we thought uh, we are learned enough to mm -hmm. do something comparable to the European consultants, but with a little bit more vigor. It started from normal structural engineering and architectural work, and then it grew over time to include the other aspects of consulting, generally with project management in all. Therefore, the staff were from three, grew up in the, in, in to about 10, 20. There has been a gradual growth all the time, mm -hmm. uh, to about 80 now in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, this has uh, gone through various changes in the economy, from the socialist mm -hmm. system up to about 88, when liberalization was taking uh, better, better uh, strength. Then come liberalization, and then we call it now a bit of maturity of liberalization. And then uh, privatization came in, mm -hmm. where we are now. And now we are now looking at another area, foreign direct investment as a driving force, and now the private sector is recognized as a driving force of the economy. We have managed to weather all that, we are lucky, by choosing very uh, smart uh, consultants, engineers, fellow engineers. We have not been the biggest paying company as such, but we have managed to keep our people by doing the best training. And we have associated very significantly with many foreign consultants in the process. So our products and our people have had an international flair right say from 1985 when we were associated with North McDonald of UK, then later with the uh, African or South Africa, and then others from Germany, France, Japan, Korea. We now attend the international ISO standard. It's about the only registered consulting firm in the country. We wanted to consolidate the international exposure, and we wanted to be able to see from their own point of view as international consultants that we are also able to see the requirements of the international consulting. The concept of producing a result, uh, which is accepted by a community uh, as a public uh, product, takes a long time. Then we give them a, a, a training. There is an organized training nowadays by government, which is supported by government, which mm -hmm. takes about three, four years before an engineer or an architect will register. And once he's registered, he's registered yeah, as a professional who will be able to to produce something original, something uh, acceptable uh -huh. to the public. But it takes another long time, maybe up to 10 years, before a person can actually come up with something uh, which is selling to the public uh, mm -hmm. directly, which has a name. And now this process is, is very arduous. You've got to be a, in a team with very senior engineers, very senior architects for a long time. We are doing it all the time uh, in, the, in the office, in the past 10, 15 years, we may have trained about 30 or so young uh, graduates. Mm -hmm. But the trouble is, once they have gotten some bit of feeling, they also jump out. We may have about 15 firms who have been born out of this company in the past 33 years. In another four years or so, we are going to have, say, 60,000 graduates coming from various universities. Who are the people who now are going to demand official housing seriously? But we have 17, and the, the national housing is trying very hard to build 15,000 units in the near future. And they are trying very hard to do 3,000 units mm -hmm. this year or next year. So you can see the level. At the moment, our focus, we want to get into roads and bridges. And uh, this is so because, as you, you say, you have noted, we are a vast country. We are trying, uh, the national plan is to have at least a joining joining major roads between uh, between the regions and then between the, the districts. We have 146 districts also, and we have maybe 30, coming to 30 regions now. But the, there is about, uh, about 85,000 kilometers of road. The government and the loans from World Bank and the ADB and others has been the major one. And also there are, before there had been bilateral uh, relationships with six Canadian countries, now even JICA, Japan is coming in, ADB is coming mm -hmm. in. So, and the national government also is doing its own 
in, in uh, financing roles. So yes. roles is going to be a major direction of growth. We have uh, another direction of irrigation for agriculture. People are, are actually haven't come to town yet, and we have congestion on the roads. If they move to town, we are going to have trouble. I mean, if 70% of the people are still in the rural area, when they move to town, like you have urbanized in the, in the U.S. and other, there's going to be a problem in the, in the city. So we want to move to where they are, and small-scale irrigation should now be encouraged, and we want to train our, our agricultural engineers, uh, uh, civil engineers, to do irrigation schemes. We get some rain, actually. It's a reasonable rain, but you, you pity the way we let the rain go away, and then we complain three months later that we have rain. No rains, we have drought, and we can't farm. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of water around, which must be harnessed in agriculture mm -hmm. and in the small dams and the, and the for irrigation. Mm -hmm. So that is a growth area we want to push our engineers in that direction. For more videos, please visit www.voicesoftanzania.com.